All right, so we already previously removed the seats. Um, first thing we're gonna have to do is kind of get this foam out of the way just in case we spill fuel on it. I don't want to have to deal with that. There's a little thing here that we're gonna pry up. So we have a little more room to work with the wiring. We're gonna come here and this just pops up like so. This is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> Pull the clip off and kind of tuck this up out of the way. Um, and it looks like it just rotates, but it doesn't look like it rotates easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to get screwdriver and hammer we're going to hammer it this way and that way it should release All right, so how I ended up getting this off um, is a pain in the ass. I buy script a punch and then put it here and just whack the crap out of it. Um, it might be easier for other people, but because my hand is not perfect. Hmm. All right, well, this is new to me. So. I've never changed a fuel pump before and I thought I ran this thing mostly out of fuel but apparently I did not. I think we gotta take the lines off. Then we get a dental pick. Oh, you push it in. Okay. So I was pulling on this blue thing. I don't know if you can see it. But you push that in and then lift up off of it. And that'll take the feed line out. Unplug this and unplug that. And that takes the cap off. Um, and then there's... A small plastic line next to a larger plastic line and then that's connected to the basket Go. 
we have the whole basket. So now I just take this out. So now we have the whole basket out. We're going to remove the top with these little hinges. I don't have the fingernails for this. Let's remove the top of the basket. I just don't know. So there's our fuel filter. And then there's this little press that was on the bottom. Or the pump. So, we're going to try and smush this as far this way as possible. Alright, so it's not perfect. We ended up having to zip tie the plastic triangular piece in there and then slid that over the pump. But it broke as it was coming out, or we were trying to get the pump underneath it, which I don't think it would have worked in the first place. But we got the lid back on. Everything is kind of in position. We're going to lower the basket back into the fuel tank and then we'll go from there. Alright, so with the installation kit, it just plugs into the stock lines, and then we're going to take the pump line and clip it onto there, and then we're going to put the two plastic lines back where they go, and then drop it into the tank. Alright, so the black hose sticking straight up is the hose coming off the fuel pump, where the blue tab is, and the little metal thing next to it is where the stock fuel line has been adapted to a barb fitting that we're going to attach to the fuel pump black hose and then that should fix any issues that we're having with getting fuel to the engine all right so here's the thing i had to repin that I took the red and the black out and I switched them to the opposite sides because if you try to run it the way it comes in the installation kit it's backwards and the fuel pump won't turn on so now if we plug it in it'll it'll fire up well it should fire up but there was no leaks when I just tested it so we're just gonna button everything up and it's gonna be good to go all right, so now we have the top hat and everything back on. And I'm going to set you guys right here. You're not going to be able to see anything really, but um, we're gonna try and fire it up with the new fuel pump.
All right. So now, as you can see, the silver lines are lined up, and it's exactly where it's supposed to be. 